I'm Amy Shannon, and this is Storytelling with Amy Shannon. And today I'm going to talk about um, favorites. Um, it's a story about choosing favorites and also when you cannot choose favorites. It's I know it probably sounds a little weird, but it's about um, when you th think of all of your favorite things. Um, and I'm not talking about the song from The Sound of Music, you know, these are my favorite things. Um, but, you know, sometimes that, that song may ring true, you know, when you're in a bad situation, you think of things that are good. Um, so you kind of get through it and move on. Um, so I was thinking about my favorite things and how they can lend to um, maybe my experience or my um, how I am, who I am. You know, you think about it. I mean, I have four sons and I tell them, you know, I tell each of them they're one of my favorite four sons. Um, because there's no way that I could choose any of them um, to be my favorite. Um, you know, I love my, my sons. Um, they're my boys and they always will be. So um, I like that I'm very close to them and there's no way that um, I could choose a favorite. Um, and that kind of brings me to a story one time um, Lewis, he's uh, one of my sons, and I were going for a walk, and I was walking on the outside towards the road, and he told me that I need to walk on the inside, and I said, well, if one of us gets hit, it's going to be me. He goes, no, because he said, if, he goes, if I got hit, you have three other sons. He goes, but if you got hit, we don't have another mother. Um, so it kind of really made me think about it, not that, um, but I still didn't move to the inside because, you know, I will protect my sons at any cost that I have to. But it, it was very interesting for him to say that. And I thought about, you know, it really just, it touched my heart. Um, you know, sometimes uh, uh, that's what you have to, you know, there's a thing that, your child says, or um, just a look on their face. You know, you think about um, if you ever saw the look on your child's face when the first time they were proud of themselves, and that, you know, it touches your heart. It's just something that you can't forget, no matter how lost your mind may, may go. Um, anyways, that's my kitty, so if you hear a weird meowing in the background, that's my kitty. Um, so I was thinking about my other favorites of how we choose our favorite things, you know. And I just think that it's not always easy to say, oh, this is my favorite this, this is my favorite that, when there are so many choices. Now, I mean, my favorite actor of all times has always been Danny DeVito, and that's just that's what it will be for forever. Not that I don't like other actors or actresses, but he's just my all-time favorite. Um, and if I had to pick one person in the world that I would want to meet, it would be him. But anyways, um, when I, um, I can't think of like my favorite music. I can think of music that I listen to depending on my mood or if I'm taking a nap or just going to bed or just relaxing and reading or even um, when I was writing stories um, you know the, the music just kind of depended on my mood um, when I was younger my sisters could always tell about my mood depending on the music that I played on my record player and yes I, I have a record player still I know everybody calls it vinyl but it's still records to me anyways when you think about other things, um, movies and books and um, just things in your life that could be your favorite all time for the rest of your life, and then things change. Your outlook changes, your mind changes, um, you know, 
if you think about when you were a child and you had a uh, maybe a best friend in kindergarten but in first grade you had a different best friend um, in high school you hung out with certain people and didn't hang out with people that you knew when they were younger um, as an adult um, you know people move on move away um, drift apart come together drift apart again um, I envy those people that you know they have those lifelong best friends you know from when they were a kid and they're still friends now and even though they, they've changed as people they've grown up it's still there I mean with um, the rise of social media and different outlets that way um, we can kind of just kind of communicate through digitally with people around the world like they were sitting next to us um, I think it's important though to have like the the face-to-face -face. Um, you kind of get some trust or read um, you know your favorite people you know close to your family the family that you actually like <laughs> Um, just being part of something that's part of human contact. You know, my favorite um, movie may be different than someone else's favorite movie, um, but if there's some contact, um, you know, thinking about, you know, what I like and what I don't like um, can I choose a favorite thing or is there just too many options that I that I like depending on how I feel um, so I think that's part of um, people you know who they are um, sometimes you can tell what kind of person it is like maybe by the way they lick their ice cream or um, certain flavor combinations that they may want with their food. Um, I have what my kids call some weird taste uh, that I just happen to like and it's just me, you know, maybe no one else in the entire world likes something that I do um, or maybe there is a person out there that that does. Um, it's more of being human and cherishing what you like and when you're going through rough times, sad times, maybe tragic times, um, those are the times that you can really tell, you can learn about yourself. Um, sometimes we don't know how strong we are until we have to endure something. Um, Otherwise, um, you know, if life was all rosy um, and everything was perfect, we wouldn't always know who we are and we wouldn't know how to handle things. Um, you know, when life slaps you in the face, you know, you just got to suck it up and move on. Um, some may think that I lack that emotion um, you know, I don't pity myself. Sometimes I get sad. Sometimes I'm low, um, deflated. Um, and sometimes I just have to take that deep breath. And I think about things that I like. And a lot of times that helps. It shows me that, you know, I can move forward. Um, even if sometimes I just have to take a few deep breaths to endure what's there. Life's not always easy, but cherishing it shouldn't be hard. And you think, if you can think of one of your favorite things, and just one, that's something that you have that gives you joy or merriment in your life. So I know this kind of just just kind of dragged on about you know it's supposed to be about favorite things but it's really about what those favorite things of yours of mine 
what they can bring, especially when you're at one of your lowest points. So this has been Amy Shannon and Storytelling with Amy Shannon. And I hope you'll listen to the next video coming up soon. Thank you.